fellow American here, and today we're going to talk about steering. On my trike, I have gone with still different kinds of steering ideas. The first idea that I had, of course, was with the um, Atomic Zombies Warrior plane. I had like some under steering system. I didn't like it. The second idea was uh, to do like a center point steering and try and figure out like some tiller steering, like normal velomobiles. Didn't really work out for me all that well. And then I got to thinking to myself, I have a velomobile that's styled after an airplane. Why not make a Velmobile like an airplane and an airplane like a Velmobile just without wings and go with aircraft steering. So that's what I decided to build. Okay, so first things first, I built this drawing actually to the right scale. So I'm going to cut this little piece off there at the end to be from there to there. And then I'm gonna cut another piece off to be from there to there. All right, a little bit of quick work with my saw. And we now have these two pieces that belong and fit in the drawing. Now we need to build some side pieces. All right, so what I did was I took my little drawing inside and I made a copy of it. Which, so what I'm doing now with this little copy, I'm gonna place it on there like that. It also came with a advantageous little hole right there, you can see. <laughs> so, so anyway, I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna trace both of these suckers out. I already got this little guy in place. He's all traced out and ready to go. And so that's how I'm making my plates. I just went and got some bolts and nuts and I'm about to weld the washer to the nut and then from there once the washer is welded to the nut this little thing is going to go on around the outside and then that will become that part of the bracket right there. You can see that little piece right there. And the nut's actually going to go on the inside, and the bolt will go on the outside. It'll go inside like that. All right, there we go. I have the uh, nuts now spot welded to the washers. And so now I can weld the washers onto the little collars, like that. So these are the individual little pieces. I went in and got this little piece here welded together. You can see the nut that's down inside of it that's been welded to the washer. And then from there, I went in and just spot welded a little washer in place, which is made up of this little collar. And then of course, this little piece that you saw in the last video. Next thing I did was I went in and I took my two steel plates and I spot welded the tail ends of them together. So if you look very carefully, you can see that I have a little bit of inconsistencies with them and I don't want that at all. I want them things to line up as perfectly as possible. So the next step is to put them in the vise and grind them smooth. Brand new blade in the angle grinder and in less than five minutes, look at how sweet those pieces of steel look. In fact, they look like one piece of steel as opposed to two. All right, so now that I got both pieces with the side washers and the nuts, Spot welded on. The next thing to do is I've got these plates and these plates are going to sit on top here like this. So they're gonna get welded together and that will make up a steering flange. Okay, this is a good moment. I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. Look at that. <laughs> Both ends are on, it's solid. When it's sitting on the trike, it'll go left and right like that. And then the little, the little uh, steering column that's in there will be bolted and it'll be able to rotate forward and back. <laughs> that is really exciting to me. All right, here's the next piece. I need to cut those uh, outside triangles off and then cut this thing in half and we will try and finish up the aircraft steering flange.
All right, so this is my flight stick control bracket. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> but it's really cool because I'm gonna have a flange here and a flange here. So it'll rotate like this on the trike. This is just a stand-in for my for the, the, the flight stick itself. And that'll go here, so you'll be able to steer it left and right. And then hopefully we can get the potentiometer of my bank, um, the Bafang motor so that when I'm sitting like this, it's not it's not on, but then I pull it back and it goes into kind of like a turbo thrust mode. Yeah. So this is the spot that it goes. It goes right between my original steering knuckle and the edge of the seat. It will mount right there like that. And then with my stand-in flight stick, I'll be able to pedal along and I can steer left and right so we've got the flange built and in the next video we're going to go in and we're going to build these two little plates that go on the side. Hang on. I'm a cycling cap. You wear this thing up, the bill up or, or down? I don't know. We'll go with up. <laughs> we're going to build these two little plates that go on the side and then the flange fits in between it. And so it'll be able to bolt onto the trike, which is pretty exciting. But in the next video you're going to see, you're going to kind of discover that I have this massive screw up. I can't even tell you how huge it was. And you don't realize these things until you build the vehicle. You design it, you work all this time to get it perfect, and then it's not. So we'll see you in the next video.